Be good, or I'll shoot you dead. When it comes to weapons in Fallout New Vegas, two things can be stated as indisputable fact. First, there are a lot of guns. And second, finding the cream of the crop can be an incredible task. To help ease the burden of picking the diamonds out of the rough, this second part of the New Vegas weapon suite covers some of the most prominent two-handed guns available. Just to clarify, only rifle-type traditional guns are covered in this section of the suite. Large oversized armaments, shotguns, and energy weapons have their own separate videos. Now then, onto the incredible hand cannons that fit in just two hands. Ah, the brush gun. This high-power lever-action rifle is absolutely critical to anyone interested in showing someone who's boss. This firearm is one of the best in the entirety of the Mojave Wastes. With superior damage per shot and a surprisingly high fire rate for a lever-action rifle, the brush gun is a true example of amazing power. This is one of the few weapons in the game that has no superior version, and as a result, tracking down the standard model can be a bit of a chore. There are a number of limited ways to acquire the brush gun, but none of them are guaranteed. The easiest way to get one is to simply buy one off of the gun runners just outside of Freeside. Of course, using this method requires you to have several thousand caps, and you must be of a high enough level for it to be in stock. Another way is to wait until veteran NCR rangers start appearing in the wastes, and steal from or kill them for it. However, veteran rangers don't appear until late in the game, and there's no guarantee you'll find a ranger carrying a brush gun. Now, even though there's more than one way to find the gun, those two are the easiest, and the most likely methods by which you will find a model. Now, for any gamer who has an interest in playing a sniper archetype, this next gun is the holy grail of snipers. The anti-material rifle is an enormous 50 caliber sniper rifle. As expected of most long-range rifles, its fire rate is less than impressive, but that drawback is almost entirely null and void whenever you take into account how it deals the most damage per bullet in the game. Similar to the brush gun, the anti-material rifle can only be found whenever you're at a high level in the game. The most reliable place you can find one is from the gun runners just outside of Freeside, but like most guns they sell, you'll spend a small fortune if you choose to buy it. The other most common way to find one is to steal from or kill a veteran NCR ranger. And as I stated before, the veteran rangers don't show up until late in the game, so you may very well reach a level high enough to buy one before you have a chance to pick a fight with a veteran. Extending the list for marksman style armaments is the All-American, an enhanced version of the marksman carbine with higher damage per shot and faster fire rate. This is one of the most difficult guns in the game to acquire because it lies behind many locked doors at the bottom of a heavily irradiated and ghoul-infested vault. I'll warn right now that going after this gun should only be done at higher levels, preferably 15 or so. Now, to start, you have to head to Vault 34, which is more east than south of the New Vegas Strip and more north and west of Camp Golf. Before heading off to this iron tomb, stock up on Rataway and Radex, because you'll be fighting radiation the entire time you're below surface. Anyway, you'll have to travel through some caves before you reach the actual vault, but when you reach the main room, just past the vault door, jump over the rail and then go down through a hole to the left. Exit the room you land in and turn left following the corridor. When you reach a T-section, turn right to the top of some flooded stairs. Go into the water and at the end of the flooded hall is a room with a drowned ghoul. Loot a passkey off of the body and go back for some air. After you surface from the T-section, 
turn right back into the hall and follow it all the way going through the last open door just around the corner from the overseer's office. Beyond the room you enter is another hall. Follow it and go through the first door you see, which should be on your right, leading down to another set of flooded stairs. Jump into the water, swim down, and through a doorway to a room with another drowned ghoul. Loot another pass key off of this ghoul, and then go back for air. Turn right back into the hall you came from, and through the last door on the left just before the armory. In this room, access a terminal and activate a set of pumps to drain the water. Return to the staircase you were just at, and you'll find the water drained. At the base of the stairs, there's another hall with a closed door at the end, leading to security section A. Go through it. Beyond the door are a few ghouls and a terminal at the end of the area. Access the terminal and disengage the lock to the overseer's office. Now backtrack to the door to the overseer's office, which should now be open, and go on up to see the big man himself. Inside, find and go through a door that's been propped open. In the room beyond is the overseer who's turned into a lethal amber-colored ghoul. Though it's no easy task, kill him and loot a password off of his body. Next, access the terminal behind his desk and open the armory. Leave the overseer's office the way you came and return to the door leading to the flooded staircase you drained. Just beyond, at the end of the hall, is the door to the armory. Go inside, take out the ghouls, and throw open the armory door which was so troublesome to unlock. Inside there will be a few more ghouls to dispatch, and on the overturned table will be the gun. All-American. One trailing comment to bring up is if you have a companion with you, they may pick up the gun before you can. Anyway, take comfort in knowing that all the work necessary to get the All-American comes with an entire armory of reward. For sharpshooters, one of the necessary guns to acquire is this machine. A 308 chambered rifle with high fire rate and more than decent damage per shot. There's more than one way to acquire this weapon, both methods requiring you to first travel to Camp McCarran. Camp McCarran is the NCR's main base of military operations in the Mojave Wasteland, located south of the New Vegas Strip. The first and fastest way to acquire this gun is to travel to the supply shack, which can be accessed from the concourse beyond the main building. When inside, if you have a science skill of at least 50, go upstairs and hack into a terminal to download a weapon manifest. Then return to the main building and talk to Lieutenant Boyd, showing her the documents you just stole. In turn, she will give you the This Machine Gun as a reward. Now, even though that's the fastest way of getting this valuable weapon, you lose Contreras, the offending officer, as a vendor who has a significant number of caps to trade with. If you're interested in keeping him around for financial reasons, it is possible to get the gun by playing by his rules. Going this route is difficult, however, because it's not a marked quest, so you'll get no helpful compass markers when performing the tasks you're given. Anyway, as long as you're at least level 12, first speak with Contreras about his inventory, and pass a level 50 speech or barter check to start working for him. The first task he will give you is to speak to a man named Isaac just outside of the Gunrunner's facility, which is just outside of Freeside. Isaac is usually found in front of the reloading bench near the Vendertron, or in his house not that far to the northeast. If you have a speech or barter skill of 80, you only need to talk to him and pass a skill check to complete your business with him. However, if those skill levels are a bit beyond you, you'll have to give him 100 pieces of scrap metal. The metal he'll accept can be in the form of tin cans, metal pots, pans, and of course scrap metal. After you've given Isaac what he needs, or pass the skill check, return to Contreras. The next task is to retrieve a shipment of medical supplies from Blake at the Crimson Caravan Company, located not that much further to the northeast of the Gunrunner's shack. After you retrieve the package, return to Contreras and hand over the supplies. Then wait about two days to talk to him again. When you do speak to him again, he'll tell you a passphrase and send you off to Miguel's Pawn Shop, which is in Westside, located west of the New Vegas Strip and right next to the Thorn Arena. When you arrive, speak to the man named Keller and say the passphrase. At this point, you can handle the quest in many different ways. However, to get the gun, this machine, and keep Contreras as a merchant, just hand the supplies over to Keller. When he reveals who he is, choose to pull your gun and kill him, then return to Contreras and talk to him. Now, as of the writing of this guide, when you return, the speech options available are confused. 
and by that, I mean bugged. You can still receive the gun, though, if you tell Contreras that Keller will work with him, even though you just killed him. And I think you might get more use out of this rifle than I ever will. Enjoy. Automatic weapons are scarce in New Vegas, so when you find one, it can definitely make your day. The light machine gun is one of those weapons, and even though it has some of the worst aim and bullet spread in the game, there's nothing quite like a fully automatic firearm to assert your dominance. Like so many of the non-unique quality guns in the game, the light machine gun can be purchased from the gun runners at later levels. However, there is one location where you are guaranteed to find one, and another where you are likely to find one, given your high enough level. The first and most dangerous one to acquire is found in a Deathclaw nest in Quarry Junction, just north of Good Springs. Seeing as how Deathclaws are the most dangerous enemies in the Mojave Wasteland, you shouldn't really go into the quarry unless you are fully prepared. If you do decide to go after this instance of the gun though, just be sure to bring plenty of ammo, healing items, and if possible some backup. Now, if you're not interested in battling an entire pack of Deathclaws, and you're in your later levels, there's one other place you are likely to find a light machine gun. Super Mutant Masters frequently carry them, and at least one Master will always carry one on Black Mountain. If you don't know, Black Mountain is an old satellite communication center infested with super mutants, located northwest of Good Springs, Sloan, and south of the New Vegas Strip. Finding the gun is not a complicated matter, more than it is bloody. So long as you slaughter all of the super mutants on Black Mountain and loot all of them, you should be able to find a light machine gun on one of them. Just remember, you have to be a high enough level for super mutant masters carrying light machine guns to appear. Even though there are far more weapons in Fallout New Vegas than what I covered here, the five guns mentioned are without a doubt amazingly powerful. Whether or not you choose to acquire them is entirely left to personal discretion. However, there's no question that these guns are worth acquiring. Now, if you're looking for oversized arms, or maybe weapons that don't shoot bullets, or maybe weapons that don't shoot at all, then check out the rest of the New Vegas Weapon Suite from Visit Guides and Kerosene Dreams.